All right, let's see what happens here. No, thank you. No thanks. No taxi, I'm walking. 25 minutes. With the sun like this, not too intense. I made the most of it. Wow, this area is hassle mania. I've been offered about 304 taxis. Right, let's go on the path. I'm not being offered a taxi anymore. Interesting. So yeah, I've got about a uh, two kilometer walk, two and a half kilometer walk to the hotel. It's 7.30 in the morning. I highly doubt they're gonna let me check in, but fingers crossed. I wouldn't say no to a bit of early check-in. Depending on how this day goes. You know, if I can't check in early, I might end up going to the cinema kill a bit of time and even have a little sleep. You name it, he's selling it. <laughs> Let's cross here, yeah. Oh, thank you, mate. Wow, what a city. It's even more crazy than my last experience here. But that was McCarthy. Okay. Good question. Very, very hectic city. There's so much going on. It's hard to concentrate and, um, well, yeah, it's hard to concentrate. You're not sure where to look. You're not sure what direction is uh, the most interesting because so much to observe. This man's, this is the egg man. He's got thousands there. Chickens on the street in the middle of a city centre. There's the bus. So we're just walking, walking through a local neighbourhood. Plenty of cats. Hello. Yeah. Happy people, friendly people. It's a Monday morning early and everyone, everyone seems to be full of life. The weekend's over, ready for the week. Hello. Yeah, the food, <laughs> the quality of food looks so much better and it looks hot. I mean, it has just been cooked, but it doesn't look warmed up at all. Frosting the road is an absolute mission. that boat. Now I'm feeling wide awake. Walking through here, it's like an obstacle course. 
dying for a drink. Surprisingly, he didn't drink that much on the ferry. So the area we're staying in this time is not Makati, we're staying in Binondo, which is another seven minutes up the road. Yeah, it's meant to be highly rated amongst tourists. There's some good spots and it's close to some of the tourist attractions. Funnily enough, we're approaching a really incredible building just past this sign. Wow. Right in the centre. It seems like everything has been built around that. Where well, the ambulance is struggling to get through, there's no space for it. Well, we found a hotel. It's a groovy looking building, Red Planet. Perfect. 7 Eleven next door. We got, to, we got to the hotel, but unfortunately we couldn't check in early. They said 10 o'clock though, which is still early, but um, we won't be back there until about 1 o'clock. So we're just going to head into town, see some of the sites. Uh, and maybe buy some swimming stuff so we can be more prepared for the next country. Get a snorkel, get some swimming goggles. Saves us having to rent it everywhere we go. And um, yeah, it'd be nice to have my own set so I can just go to the beach and keep myself occupied. A lot of beeping around here. But yeah, the weather took a turn for the worse as well. Okay, so we're just crossing the river now. This is the Pasig, the Pasig River. It's an old building. Really cool bit of graffiti or street art there. Surprisingly, it doesn't smell too bad. That is a very small horse. Well, I made a mistake. It isn't. Fort Santiago first. We are at, just pulling up a map, the Manila Cathedral. And it's raining, very lightly. Hola. Hola. No, no thank you. It's okay. Later. No thanks. There we go. It comes with its own dog. Free entrance. The dog, does he get free entrance? Yeah. Oh, no. oh, yeah. Dogs are allowed. Well, probably guide dogs. Especially walking around here, you could very easily think that you're in South America. It's a pretty cool petrol station. The pumps are hanging. Hanging from the ceiling. So if you want, if you want diesel, if you want unleaded, they pull it down and fit it up. And they let go of it. <laughs> Never seen that before. That's an interesting dog. But yeah, it's so it's fascinating that you can go from one area of the city to another and it's like an entirely different country. Look at this. We're entering a cobbled street. Some bamboo bikes. Now that is a cool frame. Yeah, it's the most, so much like Peru and Cusco. Okay, well, there's not much more I'm going to be doing in this video, but I will show you this. I'm in Rizal Park now. 
which is a pretty pleasant place, very calm, and um, yeah, extremely clean as well, which is nice. Makes a change. Seen a lot of rubbish around here. Having a little drink. It's been a good while since I had a proper meal, which wasn't just rice and whatever it was on the side. So, hoping to, hope to have something else today with a bit of flavour. Gonna see what the story is with fried, deep fried bananas. Hello. It's banana, right? Oh. How much is it? How much is it? You want? How much is it? You want one? There we go. Oh. oh, finally, I've made it to the shopping centre. Hopefully, I can get myself some um, some swimming stuff. But yeah, I think I'll call the video a day here. I hope you've enjoyed again. It's been a, a long old journey and a very unpredictable journey, but it ends up being pretty good, and I'm happy with how it went. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed again, and the next one will be very soon. Cheers. Someone's trying to sell me something. Yeah, I'm knackered. That's enough for one day. <laughs>